YouTube, what is going on? Savage here. Today's gameplay, we've got a banger. We're going to be going in-depth and breaking down Skullface's recent 43-kill bomb in Warzone 2. And yes, he does solidify the win. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel today. But without any further ado, so if you're curious on where the hot drop's going to be, it really hasn't been solidified just yet. So we've already got one knock. we got our teammate up. And we're already wasting no time to just go in and solo split. Now, right here, I want to talk about something. A lot of players are going to be at a massive disadvantage because the looting's a little, well, chalk. Let's just be honest. It's absolute garbage. Sometimes you can loot the bag. Sometimes you can't. You got to get a, you know, you got to get close to it, back away. You got to find that sweet spot. We had that issue in Warzone 1 at some point. So I'm not very surprised it's in Warzone 2. It will probably be fixed. I would imagine relatively shortly. But he saw it. This guy's sitting here on the rooftop and he's not moving so he had the confidence to literally just go in and chow this dude now if you've noticed there are two enemies that we know on this rooftop we have one right here and we have movement over here to the right hand side even though it's a 1v2 normally i would recommend not diving into this because you are vulnerable you are in the air and they could beam you up the sky but enemy number one's not paying attention and enemy number two even if he is it's a little too late so we can go ahead and 1v1 this guy and then create another 1v1 how do you fast loot you heard it there. How do you fast? Yeah, good luck. Good luck. And notice, he... Skullface saw the second guy. It's not like a surprise when this guy runs up. He instantly picks up the weapon. He looks that direction. And now he's on the hunt. Well, I blame Esteban on this one. Well, Esteban, what, kind of what the fuck is Esteban doing? Come on, Esteban. Now, notice how he cleared that building. This is just basic sense from Warzone 1, but he utilizes a lot more patience, right? Instead of what we used to do, slide, cancel in, beat, hop in, check the corner, corner, corner. He kind of slows it down, goes crotch a little bit, um, and let's just analyze it again. He knows he's inside, clearly. You see the slow movement? He's got auto attack sprint on, I'm assuming, because it keeps going fast. So he's just kind of tapping the stick, tapping the throttle, so to speak. And he checks the right-hand side first, wraps in to check the left-hand side, and again, goes back to the right-hand backside corner, and there he is. This is something you gotta do. You've got to check all your corners. You don't just go in the building and do a 360 scan. Do it just like Skullface did. Kind of peek the right before you enter, and then once you enter, you gotta do what? Clear the left-hand side, and luckily we had that little wall blocking us from the back-end corner, and he was able to once again clear the right-hand side. Now, audio is definitely jacked up, so once they start changing these things, again, the, the strategy will be adapting a little bit um, for the changes that they make. This poor SOB we just killed most likely didn't hear our footsteps because I don't think anybody ever does. And if you guys don't remember, Warzone 1's audio in the beginning was absolutely garbage. Absolutely garbage. I think a lot of people forget how bad the footsteps were. Were they always bad? For sure. For sure. But um, towards the end, it was definitely better than, than when the game first released. We're on 15. We only got two guys here. Uh, so right now we're just waiting to catch anybody out in the open. We got a sniper, and here we are. Boom, there's one. Yo, Fear, where you at? I love the death comms. Yo, yo. Or the prox chat, I should say. Where you? And again, this comes down to audio. You probably didn't hear the parachute, um, which is a huge disadvantage for your boy. But regardless, when your teammate gets knocked, the last thing this enemy should have done is just run and face check the window. He should not have done this at all he could have played that backhand corner he could have played he could have played right here and looked out to kind of peek again patience is your best friend a lot of people are still in that war zone one mindset where they just jump out and slay out you got to remember time to kill is a lot faster plates basically don't do anything and you'll see it throughout this video i'm sure um and i, I hope it happens so i can break it down and show you how fast we crack these plates because it just goes to show you you got to be a lot more patient with this game and again i i really blame audio a lot on him not realizing that but at the same time it's not just audio audio it was a huge problem, but I feel like a lot of players blame the game's glitches for a lot of the mistakes they make. 
you can find a way to play alongside that until these issues are corrected. Um, I've got about 10 hours in the game. I think we're sitting at 14 wins. Um, and the losses were ugly. The losses, you know, I wanted to blame everything too. And I did, sure as hell did. But as I went back and analyzed the gameplay, um, there's a lot of things I need to be doing differently as a player. We're basically witnessing that here. Beautiful shot, my guy. Ooh, that was great. All right, so right now we're diving in. Okay, we are, we're diving into a fight. Now, you've always got to be aware there are probably other players close by. In Warzone 2, again, everyone held hands in Warzone 1, so you can damn well bet everyone's going to be holding hands in Warzone 2, not just because TTK is bad, not just because of the game breaking glitches, but again, everyone's trying to learn the game, so they're going to be huddled up together so they don't get picked off one at a time. So Skullface goes ahead, he jumps on in. Now again, audio, lack of observation, blame it on whatever you want. This player should be looking towards the direction that he was knocked at. This is a failure in teamwork communication right here. This guy knows where he got hit from. Why? Hit indicators. You should no secondly this guy should have heard the suppressed shot again audio might be bad but let's go back to the communication this guy the player instead of just crawling 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 just quickly turn around ping that shit and then continue to crawl back you've got to give your teammates intel that way he could possibly beam us out of the air huge mistake here i'm actually not sure if we win this fight or not but let's see all right dracota goes ahead gets a nice ping off on the on the enemy and we are trying to break away All right, so right here, we're popping the reload. We get a nice, easy 1v1, and look how fast we knock this son of a bitch. Look at this. <laughs> what? Come on, game, what are you doing? Anyway, we got the kill. We have 12 bullets. Time to kill is fast. We can probably win with these 12 bullets. Now, the enemy, unfortunately, has us cracked and 70% health right now. This is where This is where you have to make the decision, the educated decision. Now, did Skullface make a stupid move ego challenging? No, not at all. This was probably the only play he had because if we would have played passive and not ego challenged, he just would have pushed towards us and killed us because plating takes too long. You can't run away while plating, another huge issue. So if your plates are cracked, the enemy is at an instant, huge, massive advantage. And there's a big chance he's gonna win that fight. So at this point, I agree with Skullface. Ego challenge the hell out the enemy. Try your best to hopefully make the enemy miss shots. Maybe hop out to the right-hand side, hit your shots and get the kill. But unfortunately, the enemy was able to beam him. We got some shots off, but all the enemy had to do is literally look at us, and I think he hit us one time. Um, let's get a little slow play on that. I haven't actually been able to watch the health go down per bullet, so I'm kind of curious if it was one tap. Right now we're at 70. All right, it was two tap. So he hit us twice and took us out. So basically three bullets took us down from full health. And again, I don't really think base health is an issue. I think plated health is the massive issue. And just like Warzone 1, just like Blackout, they're going to be balancing these things throughout the next few months. I promise you that. I, I can't promise you, but I'd be shocked if they don't. <laughs> Skullface says, bro, it's basically a 1v2 anyway. He just, he just goes in with pure confidence and takes them out. I'm not a fan at all of the duo... The gulag because normally we get teammates who are basically blindfolded using their tongues on their joysticks and they just aren't any help at all but skullface doesn't give a shit all right now look we're off by ourselves now when you guys watch streamers content creators your friends whoever you guys are watching go off solo i highly encourage that later on again we need to learn the map first we need to learn the fundamentals we need to learn the meta what guns you're good with what guns you aren't good with before you go off and solo fight a lot of players and the reason why i say that is a lot of players see it and they instantly want to replicate it I think I think he got one. I don't know about you, but I think your boy killed somebody. There's one up there. There's one up there. I killed one of them. Hey, now look, I'm trolling, but to be honest, you got you got to repeat your comms. You got I'm a massive fan. That's how I was trained um, in my RL former jobs. Communications in three, right? I got him. I got him. I got him. But at that, you can leave it and move on to the next. You don't want to overcrowd your comms. You don't want to piss off your teammates, especially if they're randoms. So I like what he's doing. I get what he's doing. It's just overly done, and this might not seem like a big deal, but look, when you're in a really intense situation, you just got to have your comms crisp and clear and concise. They're in their own world. They're in the zone. They'll probably ignore it. You say it's three times 90 percent of the time they're gonna pay attention do you guys think he killed one 
I did it. Oh, you just jumped down as I came up. What the hell? Oh shit, I'm going down. Uh. I love prox chat and I don't want to tell y'all to turn it off please don't shit's hilarious but do not reveal your position via prox chat all right do not do it if you need to tell somebody something ping it and just say look at the ping because then th those of us around you don't know where you're at i cannot tell you how many times we've gotten kills we've won games based off of other teams comms you guys are helping out the enemies whether you're on pc console doesn't matter oh fuck It was honestly a great breakaway in a 1v2 while getting shot at. Utilized the smoke to kind of, again, break away out of that position. Um, played up and re-entered the fight. Now, you got to be careful grabbing loot right after you get a kill. Like, right now, we need plates. We only have one in our, our inventory. Normally, we would want to grab more plates. You got to be careful because looting is very, very atrocious. Um, and you'll probably get caught up in the bag. So, I like the fact that instead of Skullface diving in for the bags, grabbing plates like my teammates do, like I do, and we're all guilty of it, um, he plays the entire situation. He tries to finish the fight before he goes to loot. Even though, you know, it, it could probably cost him his life if he doesn't have plates, he still clears the area before he goes to the bags. Again, we hear comms from Kiss a Girl, or I Kiss Girls. Doubt it. We play COD. None of us kiss girls. There he is. And we know there's one more left. Um, and again, dude, just being careful with your comms. Utilizing them when you can. Utilizing when you need to. Don't give away your position. And we still know there's one nearby because of the comms we were getting. Now, something that I do wish the game had, and let me know. This is just completely unrelated to the video. Um, I wish that you could hear comms, but it wouldn't tell you their names. That's what I really wish. Just because... We're gathering information, you know. He he saw young, and he saw I kiss girls. So once we killed I kiss girls, we're now looking for young, right? But plot twist. Now we killed Swift, right? The guy on top of the containers. So we still know that young's around here somewhere. So it's a little too much information, in my opinion. It's cool for us that pay attention, but for you guys, that it's not really that that fair of a thing in my opinion and maybe they'll get rid of it maybe they won't who knows but it's just something like that's just something i like to see changed all right but 15 kills on 61 with 61 up i mean that this is just hell of a pace my my pr right now is 16 so the fact he's literally almost broken my pr with 62 up all right for your listen man you can't keep running <sighs> i'm missing two guys i know you're there and Skullface is on a mission right now. You can see it in his eyes. He knows he's on pace. His team's together. They're giving voice comms to enemies. They're just giving him a hard time trying to get some content, which is awesome. Um, but, dude, Skullface is locked the fuck in. I'm actually surprised he hasn't muted them yet. You come out, hands up. Hey, I'm going to need you to drop your weapons. Come out. Come out front. Okay? Well, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, I am about to say, I'm very surprised he hasn't muted him yet, muted them yet. Um, and it's no hate to them at all. He's still got them in Discord, so he can still comm with them. So those of you like, that's toxic. No, he's just he's just trying to clear his mind, clear the comms. That way they can have fun. He didn't have to tell them to shut up. Interesting. I'm now, we do have a vehicle next to his vehicles are not like the vehicles in Warzone 1, so you got to be careful with them. But don't be afraid to utilize them to get to, well, where enemies are at. Now, I'm not sure if our teammates are at a buy station or not, but some comms actually were broke as hell, so we can't get a UAV anyway. Holy shit. That was just that was just great reaction time more than anything. That was incredible. Now let's look at the awareness here. So your boy gets pelted. Boom! Right, you see this hit indicator? It's white. I don't know why it's white. It used to be red. They need to change the color of this. This is dumb as hell. But just look at this. You want to line up your body between this, um, utilizing something to put yourself between what this is, right? So right now, it's coming from, it seems like, this direction, maybe, maybe somewhere over here. So you want to kind of move yourself to the left-hand side a little bit. And you can tell we're still exposed because not only the hit indicator, but because of... The enemy shoots at us again. Luckily, he misses, but that could have been real bad. 
And that's a lot of things. And he he realized he got behind better cover. That's a lot of things a lot of players in Warzone 1 completely just didn't pay attention to. When you get shot, the first thing you do besides react, the first thing your, your eyes should do is look at that hit indicator. That is the very first thing your eyes should do. And this guy just missed his shots. Yeah, he, he had the drop on us. We he had the drop on us. There's no reason he lost that fight. There's the fact that he missed the shots, but great reaction time of Skullface. The fact that the enemy dropped the ball on that one doesn't take away from the skill that Skullface has with his reaction time and also the accuracy. Oh my God, not see him. They got they gotta fix the airstrikes too, man. I don't know why it's middle of my screen. I can change it. Yeah, this M4 I have is and again, just notice his looting. Know how he gets in the bags and tries his best to get in and get out. It's still a new system, so it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be flawless. But with enough reps, you guys will get it down pat. We will all get it down pat. And not to mention with enough reps, but also with them fixing the looting system, um, it will become a lot more fluid. This game lacks fluality. I don't know if that's a word. It sounds cool. But it lacks the ability to be fluid, for sure. Most of the time, this game is... That. anything but fluid now bug. this is something you don't see see often and you're going to see this team collapse most likely um why are they separated i don't know if this guy is related at all but these two guys i would imagine are on the same squad because they're relatively close together and no one is shooting this is something you've got to stop doing my teammates got to get out the habit as well i got to get out the habit we all have to break out of it a lot of us like to solo a lot of us like to spread out a little bit and put shots on the enemies from different areas i'm for that but this is just a failure in communication this guy's in the gas station clearly looting uh we're more than midway through i don't really know why we're looting especially a gas station but you know what do whatever you want this guy's running away coming closer regardless he's separated what this does is allow not only skull face but also if his whole team was together for an easy either 1v1 or a 4v1, you've got to stop leaving your teammates, especially in this game. We're all learning together. Make sure your comms are on point and you're staying on each other's hips. I'm not saying holding hands, but you know, there's no reason why he can't just be in this building looting. Why y'all can't be running together and not super separated because when we go to shoot this guy, he's gonna be no help whatsoever. He is actually closing in. I might be eating my words here. Accidental nade. <laughs> Are they fighting each other? I'm sorry. And again, your boy got caught up in, I would assume, loot. I don't know what they were doing. Dropping ammo. He was he had a bag in front of him. I'm not sure. When we go to execute, we'll kind of we'll kind of pause it just to see what the hell's going on. But he definitely got caught up. <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know. Again, teamwork. Your teammate just got taken out by one guy. The enemy that we're shooting at only heard one weapon shooting skull faces so there's no reason for this guy to turn his back to us and run away there is no cover and no concealment between you and the gas station what are you doing you've got to either a run towards cover and reposition which you don't have so your next option is b to fight there's no reason for this if he would have played the wall he would have had a much better chance at, at outplaying skull face than he did now because what he did is just basically surrendered Look how much damage he did to skull face. None. And there was a bag there next to his body, so he was caught up in the loot. And again, I'm not going to hold that against anybody. It's just a bad looting system. Actually, that might be his bag. The bag might have popped up. So I'll, maybe he was in the loot. Maybe he wasn't. Don't know what he was doing, but he clearly messed up. Now getting shot at. Notice how you utilize dolphin diving to get out of get out of harm's way. It's a beautiful system. Most of you guys aren't utilizing dolphin diving. If you get shot, the, well, you react. React with dolphin diving if you have cover nearby. We had a giant set of rocks. Do not just dolphin dive in the middle of a street. You will die. Now, the enemy's kind of wild for just sitting there head checking. Now, no, notice how many windows we have. We have two windows, and there's a window on the right-hand side as well. Instead of just sitting there shooting us and staying in the same window, relocate to the next window and then relocate to the other side because that other side could have had an angle on us and he, now he never knows. I think you actually could buy that skin, actually. I love that. Checking the corners. Look at that. The enemy relocated just a little bit too late. He allowed us to push into him um, and get some close quarter combat going on. Again, that is a failure in footsteps as well. Yeah, for him to really not to know that we're in the building now with the glass who knows if he heard the glass but regardless he he played that entire fight wrong blend the audio if you want 
Again, how you play that positioning was wrong to begin with. Never allow Skullface to even close the gap to you. On top of the roof. Assassins outside your door right now. Hey, let's, oh, you're on 20, go, bro? Go, Come go, kill him. Okay. Now, now we could... Now we could settle. You know, this could be a nice... Instead of just shooting at the enemy and allowing the enemy to go prone, he's just going to pick a different fight or he's going to reposition. The enemy, lucky for us, just ran away, put himself in a bad spot, and now that's all she wrote. Now, I'll be honest, I really don't feel like the triple circles have really affected much with the game. Um, almost at all. I feel like, if anything, the only thing it's done is kind of slow down game pace. But other than that, I, I really don't think it's done much to change the outcome of the game. All right, now here we have a vehicle, and here we are with us, right? So, what I'm curious to see is one, is there another team here? They pulled up in a vehicle, we pulled up in a vehicle, it's on the edge of the zone. I'm going to assume there's a whole other squad here. We're about to find out. Two, do they know we're here? Remember, if you see a vehicle on the map in red, that means an enemy's in it. If it goes from red to tan, that means he's out. So there's no reason we should win this fight. If we know there's a full team because we saw three people in that vehicle. If, if this team's paying attention, there's no reason why they don't just stack us and kill us. Let's see what happens. Because so far with the lobby that we've had. I, I, it was a nigga just came down this car, bro. Okay, good comms, good comms. Man, I don't know what, oh, behind us. All right, I like what I'm seeing so far. So from what I'm seeing, good comms on the enemy team. Called out the vehicle, I was curious. Secondly, I already see by us breaking away the right-hand side, we're gonna misdirect the enemy. He threw out the smoke, I think initially, to push in. He saw him get ready with that second smoke, but the moment the enemies are like, oh, he's behind us, he decided, you know what, I'm gonna take this opportunity to misdirect the enemy and hit him from another angle. And I think that's exact, exactly what we're about to witness. So right now, misdirection means the enemies will be focused on the gas because they think we're inside the gas. Weird. Where's he looking? Weird, right? Like, again, misdirecting the enemy is a beautiful tactic that I always recommend y'all do in Warzone 1, and it goes even better in Warzone 2, as you guys can see here. Great shots. Warzone 1 mistake right here, boys. Or Warzone 1 tactic, that's a mistake in Warzone 2. Again, it's not a bad habit. It's an old habit, bad for this game. So you see him just instantly dive out in the middle of the open. No. In Warzone 1, I still didn't recommend this strategy. You always want to play your corners. But, you know, you can get away with it because time to kill, weapons, slack like hands, all that shit. This game here, you cannot get away with this if players are paying attention. You see him just separate himself by, what, a good 10, 11, 12 feet? put himself out of the open. We have a wall, we have cover. So if we need, forgive the screen tearing, if we need, we can bounce back to the right hand side, utilize that cement barricade as cover to hopefully plate up, or again, kind of just change our angle, bait the enemy towards us. The enemy can't do much of shit. I will say the enemy did a good job trying to utilize as much jumping as he could. Um, he was almost able to outplay us, almost. Um, and yeah, there was definitely another team here because there's still, what, three enemies? Three enemies clustered these tents together. Now, again, I ask, why did these guys not shoot the team that pulled up the vehicle? And also, once we killed that other squad, why did they not push us and stack us together? If you want to get games won efficiently, you got to use teamwork. This guy doesn't know what the hell he wants to do. You know what? No, we're covering it right now. Look, we just downed John Doe number one, AKA Hey Google, right? We just downed him. Again, going back to the beginning of the match, what do you do? You gotta ping, you gotta, you gotta give comms, right? If you can't turn around to ping, look the direction we're looking. We're looking the west. He should be looking to the west. Look at your compass and say, what's opposite of west if he's behind me? Shit, he's somewhere to the east. Somewhere to the east, look that direction. But instead, his teammate either got nothing, he either got no comms or he got nothing but bitching. Oh, this game sucks, blah, blah, blah. And that's all the enemy heard, the enemy teammate. So look what he had to do. Look what he had to work with. Nothing, he's got his back to us too. He, he didn't stand a chance. You have to have teamwork. 
You had to have it in Warzone 1. A lot of you guys forgot about it. A lot of you guys didn't give a shit about it. You have to have teamwork in Warzone 2. Get your comms on point. I don't care if they're with randoms or not. Be the be the guy that teaches your randoms how to give better comms. Be that guy. This is just unforgivable. There's no reason that your boy right there, no idea who he was. We didn't get a death. We didn't get a kill feed for him. But no reason that dude didn't know we were at. Just the fact that Hey Google was probably crying. All right, so also shooting fish in a barrel. Three versus one. And we literally didn't get in a single 1v2 that entire fight, which is weird. So... Well, when we knock the first enemy, fine. The first enemy is usually just in a bad spot, is what it is. The other two players should have definitely come together and fought us at the same time. But instead, they came out one at a time. And I have no idea what the hell that dude was plating for. No one else was shooting but us. So either A, he spent a lot of time looting. Or B, he was just playing Fortnite on the side. I don't know what the hell he was doing. I'm going to keep on using this. Okay. To go on a high-paced kill game like this, or even get 15, 20 kills, 30 kills, you've got to take advantage of the enemy's mistakes. You've got to. There's, of course, a skill difference. There's, of course, a skill gap. There's going to be your better players, for sure. But all they're doing is taking advantage of the mistakes that these teams are making. And that's all we're seeing is these mistakes over and over and over again. And I get it's a new game. I do. But that's why we're making the series. That's why we're bringing the series back from the grave that we did in Warzone 1. To give you guys those fundamentals and ingrain them into your mind while you're playing the game a lot of these mistakes are literally from warzone one and a lot of these mistakes are brand new ones that we're seeing that could be simply solved with just good teamwork all right this guy's by himself unfortunately now let's see Good trying to predict and pre-fire that um, live marker. That was great. That was absolutely great. How is going to split right now? I'm confused right now. It's going to come back together. He could probably just break across and utilize the gas mask to finish off those kills. Come to you. I see. I see. I'm gonna probably counter UAV. Bait in the buy station. Oh, I see. It's a jammer. That's cool. That sucks. The team up here is also really cool. Oh, they want oh, to come to the roof. Yep. There's three. I can PA him. Get him. I PA'd them. I PA'd them. Yeah, you can take it. You can go to the top. Got you. Again, look at the panic. Let's just rewind that real quick and look at the panic. Why did none of them shoot at us? Why did none of them hit us? Because they just panicked. They went into serpentine mode. Let me just go side to side. Why not one just go prone? Utilize this to try to get some cover. Line yourself up with the hit indicators. Think for a second. And then both y'all stand up and shoot us in the head. You had the opportunity. You threw it. This is a 1v2 right here. They never shot us. Stop panicking. Not, not to mention, he jumped towards us. If he would have jumped off the other side, he would have been fine. But he jumped towards us. So clearly no comms, not listening to the sound of the gunfire, which there is sound of gunfire, um, but also not paying attention to this hit indicator. It's amazing to me over the past three years, witnessing players just not pay attention. How do I know it? Because if you were paying attention, you wouldn't do that. Look at that guy. I try. I don't think you were trying, homie. I think that was the opposite of trying. Kill this guy first. Chalk that up to bad audio. You know, he was trying to catch the corners, you know, and I always made fun of crouch walking in Warzone two, 1, but Warzone 2, guys, you get it how you live. You got you got to slow down your gameplay. I don't mind crouch walking at all. You're going to see a lot of things I used to preach against in Warzone 1 just completely throwing it out the window because it's going to be working in Warzone 2. Now look, notice how long they're in the loot. And again, this is just because the game is new. We're trying to learn it and the looting's at the best. Um, you're going to see this speeding up a lot, not just with him, but with all of our gameplays, with your own gameplay. Just try your best to get in and get out with what you can do. It's not perfect right now. I don't expect anyone to have flawless looting, but 
you got to try your best. Now, notice that. We're in a bad spot. He wanted to get the kills. He's on 32 pace. He wants to hit 40. But instead of making a stupid mistake, he backs away to cover, repositions, and he's able to get some better shots on the enemies without putting himself out in the open and exposed. I have a drill charge. Now, I'll be honest. Dakota needs to make his way to E-Base and try their, his best to get the res off while we're getting these kills just because of the pace that we're on. There's one outside over here. I downed one now. See my head but we'll see what happens. They do have a lot of money, so they could get a buy back at that buy. I hear footsteps. For <laughs> surprise, there it is. Now it may have just been COD timing. He might have just was like, "I got the full. I'm gonna break to the left," and he happened to get hit. I don't know, but it it looked damn good. And again, Skullface is locked in. His awareness is through the roof. His awareness is through the roof. And the reason why I say that is, again, look at this play here. A lot of times when you're chasing an enemy, it's hard to tell which way they go, right? He could go to the right-hand side, which probably would have made more sense. One, it would separate him from our teammates. Two, he'd be able to wrap around us and, and be able to play this building. This building is a little bit safe, so he could wrap to the right around this building, wrap on us, and get maybe even a hold on us. But instead, he wraps to the left. It's something I normally wouldn't expect. It's something I'm sure Skullface didn't expect. So how do we know he didn't run to the right? He ran straight. That split second, that split second of, uh, of just visual told us exactly where he went. Right there, a little bit of movement. You can't really see much, but you see the movement, you have to follow movement. And I said it in Wars in One, don't just look for entire bodies and silhouettes. Let's look for movement. Movement will tell you 90% of everything. The enemy throws down a thermi so we can't push him on the stairs. Good play, but I mean, he's gonna have to come out anyway. So unfortunately that good play is not really gonna do much. I smacked the dude on top, he's super weak. Hey, 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 don't, don't die, don't die. Oh my god, get the fuck out of here, man. 36 with 18 up. Comms are on point, everyone's trying to help out. And look, this is... Right, are they inside the compound? I'm not sure where they are. Right, right behind you. I'm getting out of here. That guy's one shot. Oh, three of them. Oh, fuck. Down. Can I reload? Got him. You could just hear the chaos in the enemy's voices. You could just hear the chaos. Um, I'm getting out on me, on me. It shit was just going crazy for them. Not to mention, we kind of pushed them from um, two of us from the backside, one through the side door, and one through the front. So they really didn't stand a chance. We pinched, they pinched the crap out of them. Great team fight on Skullface and company's uh, side. As far as the enemy's concerned, they just fell apart. Right, you guys you got SMG ammo? Actually, just got some. Coming, 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 coming. I have 100 here. Yeah, I need some SMG. I have so much AR. Uh, uh, dropped, 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 dropped. Oh, that's nice. Right there. There's a guy in my building. Can you grab it? Yeah. 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 No, this is a player. I just turned the guy off. Oh, first floor. Oh, we're gonna I'm look at right here. Still outside first floor. Behind me. I'll be. Yeah, in the gas. Yeah. Just stay on school. Stay on school. Jeez, yeah. oh, I have that. Two teams. Two live teams. There's two guys. Two teams. In each of those. They're above where he is. He's in here. Now we actually hear footsteps above us. Again, it's so inconsistent. He could be on the rooftop. Fuck! I don't know why it switched weapon. Oh wait, wait, wait! Right in this building, right, right here. I'm looking at. Down. Balcony. Down the balcony. Great shots and look at the gunfire right there. Look at the little fight. It's something simple, but a lot of people don't do. He aims at him, gets the sights off, but he sidesteps. You gain a little bit of movement, goes a long way. This game doesn't have the best movement in the world, but utilize what you have. Down. It's a little bit of sidestepping. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. That's, a, that's the 40 bomb. She wants to give you some tips and tricks too, real quick. Sorry about that. Oh, shit. Come on, me. I got an armor. I got, I got an armor box. And again, notice the difference between ego challenging in Warzone 1 from a lot of us and playing a lot more patient and playing cover and concealment a lot more. 
It's almost like a lot of the tips I gave you yeah, I'm playing the cross. I'm playing the cross. are I'm even playing. more valued now in this game than they were in Warzone 1. Granted, a lot of things we made fun of are actually better in this game, but a lot of the tips with cover and concealment go a long way in this game here. That's three knocked. That's all, they're all knocked. Now, let's talk about these guys real quick. Let's talk about what ifs. You know, I like to play the games of what ifs, right? So, there's a lot of things these enemies can do, but what if? These guys come out of the gas right now, right? Now, in my head and in your head, we're probably thinking, why not? Why are you running towards us in the middle of the street? Why not cut across? It's a good question. That's my question, right? They'd be way better off cutting across the street, getting further away from us, playing the little bit of zone that they do have and getting to the building, then wrapping around in the middle of the street, just vulnerable with no cover and concealment. Now, one of the things that y'all are asking is, but Savage, what if he doesn't have a gas mask? Well, he maybe should have fucking rotated sooner, you know? You've got to predict your rotations before you're forced to do them. And I'm going to post my first ever win on the channel tomorrow, and I'm going to show you guys why it's so necessary, even when you're in a bad spot. If you're not constantly thinking of where to go, you're going to put yourself out in positions like this and get killed. Gas mask or not, if you didn't have that gas mask, you should have pre-rotated long ago. But you were so hunkered down in that building, you waited for the gas to force you out like you did in Warzone 1. You got to stop that pre-rotate you gotta think this game here forget what you think about skill gap this game here requires a lot more mental awareness mental strength and just just thinking that's all you gotta do think the entire time and as weak as they were i'd it's safe to say they didn't have a gas mask so again with that pre-rotate especially since they would have had that building safe Forty-three. Well, I got the win right there. Let's go ahead and finish that. Let's go, baby. Let's go. No, that's a beautiful display of a gameplay. That's absolutely incredible. I did not think anyone's gonna hit forty bombs for a very long time, and Skullface did it under a week. Good shit. That was a hell of a performance. You gotta give him credit. And again, if you guys do not follow Skullface, make sure you do. I'll link his YouTube and all of his socials in the description below, at right at the very top. So make sure you guys go show him some love, send him some love from the motherfucking wolf pack. But again, guys, learn not only from the good that you witness, not only from Skullface's gameplay, but learn from the mistakes of other players. What to do is awesome, but you need to learn what not to do also. It's a package deal. Don't just focus on the positive, focus on the negatives and learn from that. And not only are you learning what not to do and what to do, but you're also learning how to predict what enemies are doing. You're witnessing day in and day out. Oh, well, these players are playing like this. Maybe I could gatekeep these guys. Maybe I could do this to counter that. And once those wheels start going, the improvement is endless. But guys, again, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel today, and let me know in the comment section below what your favorite meta is right now because I am trying to find my bread and butter. There's a lot of good weapons, but I haven't found those weapons that I absolutely love just yet. But until next time, man, y'all have a good one and good luck in Warzone.